hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you how to bind data from SQL Server database into an HTML select option element and here we got the final output notice the EMP name is binded from SQL Server database into this select option element if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates for this video tutorial, I have created a new ASP.NET web application. Notice in this web form page contains a simple HTML code with some header tags h1, h2 and horizontal line. Now after the horizontal line, I am adding a simple HTML select option element select id is equals to select emp is the id name. Let's close the select tab. Now my aim is I want to bind data dynamically from SQL Server database into this HTML select option element using C sharp coding. So right click the mouse, go to view code. In the code behind, first I'm adding the necessary namespaces using system dot data using system dot data dot SQL client and the last namespace I'm adding using system.configuration. After adding these three namespaces, now in the server explorer I am adding my database connection string. Right click the data connections, add connection. I'm adding my SQL server name. After adding SQL server name, now I'm selecting the database name. Sample DB is my user database. I'm selecting that one. Test connection. It succeeded. Okay. Okay. And here sample DB dot DBO is added under data connections. We require the data source of this sample DB dot DBO. Right click the sample DB. Go to properties. In the properties window, notice the connection string which contains the data source copy that one and add in the web.config file open web.config file in the web.config file inside the configuration I'm adding connection strings add name I'm adding the connection string name is my connection connection string is I'm adding the data source which I have copied and the provider name is a system dot data dot SQL client. After adding the connection string in the web.config file, I can switch back to the code behind. In the page.event string main con is equals to configuration manager dot connection strings between double quotes. Now between double quotes I am adding the connection string name which is my connection. Copy that one and add in the connection string between double quotes add the connection string property sql connection sql con is equals to new sql connection i'm adding main con string sql query is equals to here the sql query is a select command now before writing the select command, first we'll visit our SQL Server Management Studio. We'll check the database table and the column I want to bind in the select option. The table name is the EMP table which contains EMP ID, EMP name, designation, department and join date. Now my aim is I want to EMP name, the column name to bind into the select option. So let's add the table name, select statement, select, start from, the table name is the EMP table, SQL data adapter, SDA is equals to, new SQL data adapter, the SQL adapter takes two parameters, the first one is a command text, which is a SQL query, comma, and the second parameter is a connection object which is a SQL con. Copy this one and paste here. 
after that let's open the connection string sql com dot open method data table bt is equals to new data table let's fill the sda dot fill with dt object data table object now let's bind this emp name column into this select option the select option id is a select emp notice here when i type select we are not getting the id of this select tag because this is the html tag we need to add a property called run at server after that we can access this select option element in this code behind let's add the select emp see notice now we got the id of the select tag select emp dot data source is equals to dt select emp dot data text field is equals to the column name i want to bind the column name is the emp name just copy this emp name and add here between the double quotes after that select emp dot data value field is equals to the same emp name select emp dot let's bind the data source data bind the final step we need to close the connection string sql con dot close method that's it we have done the complete coding part we are binding the emp name into this select option element let's check the output google chrome and here we got the final output notice the emp name is binded from sql server database into this select option element that's it